Alright. Um, the extruder motor, it runs, but it doesn't want to run on the extruder motor part of the board here. Like, it being plugged in over here, it just isn't running. Um, I tested it by putting it on the x-axis down here. If you can see that, I put it down there on the x-axis, but it's not running on its own port. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm turning it on. Let's see, it comes on. I just have the fan sitting off to the side right here. Everything actually runs. It's just the extruder doesn't want to extrude any filament at all. So I'm going to go to the test. You know, I, so I'll go down to enter. I'll go down to extruder. Move over. I'll go down to extruder position. Move over. Now all I gotta do is go up and then it'll move the extruder. It's supposed to move the extruder one degree, a uh, one millimeter at a time. You see, it's not moving. It's, it sounds like it's trying to, but it ain't doing anything. And I could even try to speed it up, you know, maybe it's just locked up or something. Put five, six. This is supposed to speed up the moving of the extruder to move this spindle right here, but it's not moving anything. So, what I'm going to do now is shut off the system real fast, then turn it back on. See, I shut it off, no problem. What I'm going to do now is unplug the extruder from the board itself real fast. Hold on. It's hard to do it with one hand. There. See? Unplugged. And now I'm going to unplug the x-axis motor and show you that the motor does work. It just isn't working. So down at the bottom, this is the x-axis. I'm just going to leave it unplugged. Just a motor, stepper motor, I'm just using to test out to see if the motor was bad. So, see I got that out. I'm going to plug this one in. Okay, so now I have the E motor, which is the extruder motor, unplugged and plugged into the X axis motor. I'm going to turn it back on. And it's back on. And we're going to just go to position here. Go right there. Go down to position. And then I'm going to go home. All I got to do is press enter for the X. And see it works. And I could click the X access button here. That's the X access button. I could do that and it'll stop. So I'm going to do it one more time and show you that it does receive signal and it actually does move. So if I hit that button again, you heard it came back on. And then if I click this button, Hold on, I didn't click it fast enough. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm trying to get all this in one shot. Go down, down to X. And... Do it one more time, sorry. See? As soon as I click it, it receives signal, it does what it's told. 
it thinks that that's as far as it'll go. Like it, it can't, it won't move anymore. See, stop and it'll go backwards. So it receives signal, it interprets it. So I know it's not the extruder itself. It has to be that port. And my fan never worked. Like it's never came on. It's never ran. The fan is just gone. It doesn't want to turn on. Um, this fan is running just fine. I could just unplug that fan from its port and plug it in so let me see that real fast so I can show you that the fan doesn't even work either so I don't know if the board's defective or what but I mean I hooked everything up correctly on my side so I'm plug the fan well, let me shut this off first before I touch anything I'll put the extruder motor back in its position and then I'm going to test out the fan and show you that the fan is not working either. And I didn't do anything to this system. All I did was put it together. I didn't mess with anything. Nothing crazy happened. No sparks. I mean, if it was really fried, I don't understand. Alright, that fan. Hold on. So I plugged the fan that was running into the other port and now I'm going to get the fan that wasn't running, wherever that one was at, I had to find it, I'm sorry. There it goes. Okay. Now the other fan. Bam. Alright, so. I have the front facing fan on the opposite port now just to see if it'll turn on and run. Because as soon as I flip the switch and turn on the system, it should just instantly start running like that fan was doing. But it ain't doing it. See? The fan is defective. And the other fan ain't even running. But that's just because that one will only run if it's printing. I'll flip it around and I'll show you that. I mean, that's that's just normal. That fan just isn't running. You don't have to worry about that MOSFET right there. That's not even connected to the system. Alright, plug that in. I just left the other fan unplugged because there's really no point of having it in, in there. But now I'll turn it on. See? That one works just fine. I just put it back on this original port. It's just that fan doesn't work and the port on the extruder isn't working. So. That's why I'm not extruding anything out of my extruder at all. And that's the trouble that I'm having. Everything else seems to work fine. I can home it. All the other motors, everything else works. It's just I'm not getting any filament out because the extruder port isn't working correctly. It doesn't even want to move the motor. It sounds like it wants to, but then it doesn't. It's just like stuck. Even though, you know, it's not the motor because I just tested that on the x-axis. And then the fan is already gone. Doesn't work at all. Now, I'm pretty sure the port works. I just haven't, I mean, I'm not set up for printing anything. So the fan never came on to print. That doesn't stay running. It's just this one stays running. So I just need a new fan and I'm guessing a new um, motherboard. Um, but that's that's the problem I'm having. Thank you.